Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TR's Corner. For today's episode, I want to tell you about the time where um, I got lost in the downtown Madison area, uh, the square area for the mar farmer's market when I was a little kid, and um, I got scared, my parents got scared, uh, my family members who were with us that day got scared, and so I'm going to tell you all in this whole video today, I'm going to be telling you about my whole experience that happened with that when I was a kid. So basically, we were at a farmer's market at one point. Uh, I'd say I was probably in first or second grade maybe when this happened. So I was still pretty young. And um, my parents and I think it was my grandparents on my mom's side, they were checking out like these necklaces or something at this booth at the farmer's market that day. And uh, for some odd reason, when I was younger, um, I thought we were moving. We were moving along, and that one or two people from our family were just stopping to look at them while the rest of us were moving on, seeing what the farmers market offered. Turns out that wasn't the case. Uh, I just kept on walking. I turned out to be the only family member uh, of mine that was still walking through the square, since you know, basically, in, the, in our farmers market in the Madison area, you got to keep moving, and if you don't want to keep moving, you got to stop on the booths and get something. And so I thought we were keeping, you know, the movement was still happening, I thought, at the time. And it turns out I was on the complete opposite side of town than they were, and I was lost. And so what happened was, is I managed to track down, ironically, another person who was selling necklaces. It must have been a hot seller that day. Uh, another type of necklace booth, I think this was more so, like, you know, things that were made outside of the U.S. And uh, so there was, this, there was this nice Asian lady that I ran into. And, I, you know, I was crying. I was... I was telling her the best I could, you know, with me like, oh, I can't find my parents and all that, you know, all that the kid, the kids crying and all that. And, um, you know, I was telling her like, oh, I can't find my mom. I can't find my dad. Uh, you know, I can't find my grandparents. I can't find my brother. And so what she told me was, and, and actually this was pretty good advice. And, you know, she was a really nice lady and she said, you know, well, why don't you wait here? You know, we have these really neat necklaces that I'm, I'm trying to sell today. And, um, you know, if your parents, you know, more than likely it's, it's best that you stay someplace. So more than likely your, your family has split up looking for you. You know, she, she was telling me this possible scenario that was possibly going down since she knew, you know, based off the details I gave her, uh, you know, she was working off those and she, you know, she said, you know, it's best that you stay somewhere that you don't keep moving. Cause if you keep moving more than likely, they're probably not going to find you at that rate. And, um, you know, if you stay here, more than likely some family members are going to be walking by this area pretty soon. Since, you know, it is a pretty big area of town, but at the same time, like like what she was saying, if you stay someplace and, you know, several family members are scattered all over the place looking for someone, more than likely they're going to find you at that rate, If you're, specifically if you're just staying there and, you know, you're not really moving around. And so... Luckily, my mom was running down the street area. Like, oh, where's my little boy? Where's my little boy? And, um, you know, she found me there and, uh, you know, you know, gave me a big hug and a kiss and everything. You know, thank the lady for doing it. Uh, you know, and, and she kind of gave me a wink and be like, you see there? Uh, you know, if you stay in one place, don't keep moving. More than likely, one of your family members are going to find you. Uh, so, you know, cell phones are pretty new at the time. Uh, so my mom took out her big brick cell phone and uh strangely enough i guess my dad had one at the time too uh called him up and said to you know the best he could um you know try to get the whole family members back together again you know since i was found you know she, she'll definitely not lose sight of me now now that she knew that i got lost and i think my brother even for the rest of the day you know he, he was making sure that i was in my mom's sight the whole time too that i never left the group uh you know for the rest of the time i was very much supervised and uh, every time we went back to the farmer's market after that, we always made sure that, you know, that I was with the group and that if we stopped, they were going to tell me that they were going to stop and all that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, a little, kind of a scary experience. But as soon as I met up with that lady and, you know, she told me how to, you know, stay put and everything, I got a little bit comforted. And, um, yeah, I remember having several tears going down my eyes. I think my parents even bought me a cookie just so I, I didn't feel awful leaving the Mar farmer's market because they had these big cookies there that I really like. Uh, and even to this day, if I'm there, I always get one of those big cookies that are really good. Um, so yeah, that's the time I got lost. Uh, even though I do have a previous episode on here where I talk about getting lost with a friend of mine. So this was the first time I got lost, but um, this is the probably 
definitely one of the first times I've ever gotten lost, although you know, since this took place when I was much, much younger. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, tell me if you like the story down below. I have uh, plenty more TR's Corner episodes coming up here soon, and I will see you here for a future video.